Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. It's been a while since our last full length feature review and today we're finally getting you a new one featuring the MSI GT62 VR Dominator Pro. So in this review we'll start things off with our unboxing, we'll move into the overview of the unit and then we'll get into some benchmarks and finally our disassembly. So we'll start things off with the unboxing. As you can see, we do have our standard double boxing technique being employed here. So we have the outside brown box and our internal box from MSI with all the artwork. For those of you who may not follow MSI as a brand and do not know all of the laptop models, the GT62 is going to be the 15.6 inch gaming laptop that they offer more on the upper tier. So this one has been redesigned with brand new hardware. We're rocking the NVIDIA GTX 10 series now. We have very high-end Intel CPU, tons of DDR4 system RAM, and also this particular model comes VR ready. So now we've got that internal box cracked open. As you can see, we get some of the advertisement and media that comes with it. The laptop is already prepared to take out in the center of the box. We have some foam wings on the outside to keep it protected from any kind of crush or shock damage and then the internal sleeve that keeps it protected from any kind of scratches. And now that we've got the laptop uncovered, you can see it does have even more protection as far as the scratches go. We do have the plastic film over the lid as well. Over on our right hand side, this is where we have the manuals, driver's disc, warranty information. Our left hand side compartment has the power adapter. This one in particular is a fairly BP 230 watt power adapter. So plenty of power. This is a very demanding laptop as far as how much hardware it has in it for dedicated graphics and a high end CPU. So you wanna make sure you have plenty of power to handle that. And here is a close up of those specs. Now, with the unboxing out of the way, we'll move into unveiling the laptop itself. We'll get it opened up and powered on for you. We do have between the screen and the keyboard a cleaning cloth. Keep that handy so you can wipe down the keyboard and the screen. That also helps protect it from getting scratched from itself while it's being shipped. So the very first place that we'll start with the product tour is going to be the system BIOS. Of course you get to this before you even boot into your operating system and this is the core of your system. So while we're inside of the system BIOS you'll see some of the system hardware. You'll get a glance that we have 16 gigabytes of system RAM pre-installed. We do have things like the Intel VTX technology. That's going to be a virtualization platform, so if you run VMware, that's something you definitely need to have. You'll notice that the UEFI BIOS configuration type is standard nowadays, so that's going to be how it comes out of the box, but you could flip it to the compatibility mode, which lets you run legacy type setups. We have the ability to run RAID on here if you want to run your disk in a RAID setup. So for most users, you won't need to go into the BIOS for anything. However, for the power users, you might stop in once to make a few major changes to how the system works, especially if you're planning on uh, changing the operating system and you want to flip it over to legacy, turn off secure boot, or enable RAID, something along those lines, just to get your system set up. Also, while you're in the BIOS, you can always set a uh, password as well for extra security. Alright, moving on to the size and weight. It's a very competitive market as far as high-end gaming laptops. Who can get the smallest and lightest? We're at 6 pounds and 7 ounces on the GT62. With the power adapter included, which is the full travel weight, you would have 8 pounds and 8 ounces. So 
So in understanding that this laptop is not supposed to be the super thin and super light business class laptop, this is a definitely high-end performance laptop, we're comparing it against other performance laptops. As you can see with the tape measure, we get our measurements. It's well under the uh, inch and a half mark on the front end, but a little bit wider in the back. We have that wedge shape. We have coins up there for scale, so it makes it a little bit easier to understand what you're looking at. As far as how it looks, it's a pretty stunning laptop. It looks are always you know, susceptible to your own opinions, but we'll give it a spin around and let you see it from all the different angles and let you choose for yourself if it looks like it's a really nice laptop or not. So we have our connectivity ports. We have the SD card slot followed by three USB 3 ports on that side. To the back, we have our main exhaust vents on the left and right side. We have the RJ45 network port, followed by the USB 3.1 type C port. We have the HDMI output, the mini display port, and of course we have our power. As we continue around to the other side, the far left has our Kinnington lock port followed by the one and only USB 2 port. So they're getting more and more rare. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that soon we won't see any at all. It'll be USB 3 only. Up front, we have four 3.5 millimeter audio connections. So we have a microphone, a headphone, a line in, and a line out. So that gives us a lot of connectivity options as far as audio. All right, now it's powered on. You can see just how beautiful this laptop is. We do have those low profile LED backlit keys. Here on the bottom right hand side, this is the little badge that displays some of the features. Killer networking is our hardware, the VR Ready, NVIDIA GTX 10 series, lots of high-end hardware. So we do have the nice large touchpad near the center with dedicated left and right clicks. We have the Steel series multicolored LED backlit keyboard. Up at the top we have some of our access buttons. This will launch the power uh, for the fans. It will let us turn on the overdrive for those. We are able to launch, launch our media center, some of the Steel Series features, and also turn on and off the laptop with our power button. The screen is a very, very high-end IPS panel. So this is something you would normally see used for production monitors for video editing and photo editing so the IPS panel gives you great color reproduction and it looks really good in person. It's also a matte type so it does not reflect all the ambient light in the room. Our speaker system is from Dyne Audio so really nice loud speakers. We'll show you those a little bit later in the video. That 15.6 inch diagonal screen, the HD webcam at the top with the integrated microphones. So a pretty loaded package, very standard as far as MSI's gaming laptop series. They just usually keep upgrading the major components, so it gives you a good reason to purchase the new model if you haven't already gotten one. We do have that brushed aluminum lid. You can see some of the texturing as we get it just right in the light. It's embossed with the MSI logo down in the center. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it will light up in the dark. So that's the first look at the MSI GT62 VR as far as the outside, the connectivity, the features. The next portion of our review is going to be the benchmarking. First up on our benchmark test is going to be the boot speed of the system. So how fast can we go from a cold boot to fully inside of Windows loaded and ready to go? Cell phones running the timer. And we're about 14 seconds. That's plenty fast enough to turn on your computer and be ready to work. So we'll go ahead and move into our next test. Now before we get into our gaming benchmarks, let's go to our device manager and look at what we have. Our dedicated graphics, which is very important, is the NVIDIA GTX 1070. And also for the CPU, we have the Intel Core i7 6700HQ. That's 2.6 GHz across the board on all the cores. 
And with our video card, the NVIDIA has a full 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 video card RAM on it. Our screen, the refresh rate is 60 hertz, so not super high refresh rate, but again, it is that really high-end IPS panel. You can look up that panel number down below if you want more information on it. And it does support the NVIDIA G-Sync technology, so if you want to run that alongside your games to get the uh, tearing taken care of, go ahead and turn that on. Now the GPU-Z information on the NVIDIA GTX 1070 is in front of you. You can take a look at that. And we'll move into some of the MSI software. Now the Dragon Center is a piece of software that seems to keep getting better and better each and every time MSI updates it with new features. So this is the brand new GT62. It has lots of new features built into the software. You can control your keyboard lighting here. You can set up your macro keys. You can set up app shortcuts do your system monitoring. There's just a lot of stuff for you to come in here and check out. You'll surely find something interesting and you can definitely do a lot of tweaking from here. All right, we're gonna keep the pace going. We have lots of things to cover. So we'll go ahead and move into some more of our benchmarks. Next up is gonna be Crystal Disk Mark. This is just a quick reading from the C drive so you can see the read and write speeds. And next, we're going to do the ambient noise levels. So right now, the system is at idle. We'll test it here near the keyboard. Then we'll also grab readings from the back. Of course, these readings are only going to do you good if you're willing to go and watch other reviews we've done so you can compare it against other systems. All right, now we're moving into the meat and bones of the performance section. We have 3D Mark 11 completed. We have a performance score of 11,844. Again, just to review that we're still using the same hardware as before, the NVIDIA GTX 1070. If we move over to the thermal monitoring section, here is really important numbers to look at. We can see our CPU hit a maximum of about 70 degrees Celsius, and the video card was 68 degrees Celsius. Those are super, super great temperature scores. So this system is handling all of that hardware with no problem at all as far as containing the heat. Of course, now we're gonna go ahead and run the external temperature probe. We're doing the infrared thermometer here. We're looking for any hot spots. So we're running a benchmark right now which puts the system under load. And what we're looking to see is, do we find heat coming out near the hand areas where it would make your palms get sweaty? Do we see it coming out near the keyboard, which is a great spot for the system to actually ventilate some of that heat? Or is it mostly just in the back where the ventilation is pulling it out? So higher numbers in the back is good. That means it's not a hot running system. It means it's actually a cool running system because the heat is coming out of the system instead of building up. So far, based on the last benchmark and our current external temperature readings, the GT62 VR is doing a really great job as far as controlling all the heat in the system. That's a really good thing to see because a lot of the higher end gaming laptops, especially back in the day before this technology was perfected, did have issues with controlling the heat and it could make it either uncomfortable to use or limited the performance of the uh, laptop because it actually hit thermal limits. So really good to see that's under control. All right, it looks like Firestrike has completed its run and we have our score, 11,399, very respectable. Again, we'll show you we're running the GPU-Z, we still have the same hardware, and we still have our new temperature results. These are actually exactly the same as the last benchmark. Firestrike is pretty demanding and it looks like it was not able to raise the temperatures any we have the same as last time. Firestrike's a great benchmark to run on your own as well. It gives you really good graphs as far as your temperatures and frame rates. You can dive in there and really look at a lot of the system. Now we're moving into a new sound test. This one's going to be our speaker levels.
The Dyn Audio speakers have never disappointed since we first saw them. They're always very loud and clear, so very nice speaker system. Okay, Gentech return viewers. You know what it means when you see the back of a laptop. It means we're about to take it apart. And sadly, it also means it's near the end of our review because this is our final segment. So before we take it apart, we do see our little Dyn Audio powered subwoofer on the bottom. Lots of ventilation. You can see one of the reasons the laptop cools so well is the entire center section is an air intake. As far as taking it apart, the screws are all along the perimeter. We'll take those out in a second. And a fair warning that this is a tamper-proof sticker. If you were to open this up to do any kind of upgrades or just checking it out, you would void your warranty, so don't do that. Now, screws along the outside, we've taken them all out. And the entire bottom plate will come off now. Now keep in mind that while you cannot go in here on your own to upgrade your system out of the box because it would avoid your warranty, during the customized ordering process that we have, you could choose to upgrade any of these components and have it done in-house, and then all of those changes would be covered under warranty. So if you do want to upgrade something, just let us know in the checkout process and we can do it for you. Now we have our two large cooling fans and lots of heat pipes to connect everything together. You can see that we have two unoccupied RAM slots right now, so those are easy to get to. There are two more, they're on the other side of the motherboard, and luckily the manufacturer put those slots full for you so you don't have to worry about getting to them. Overall, it's a pretty simple setup as far as the components go. Now for us to get a little bit further into the system, we've gone ahead and take the cooling solution off. So our heat sinks, the heat pipes, and the fans are all taken off now. This lets us take the video card up and out of its slot. Over here we have one of our M2 SSDs. And here is our mechanical mass storage device. So unfortunately I must now let you know this is the end of our review. We do hope you enjoyed the full detailed review of the MSI GT62 VR Dominator Pro. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the system, then go to our website, gentechpc.com, and visit the product page. There you'll find the full product specifications and the current pricing and availability. If you have any questions the review did not answer for you, feel free to go ahead and ask here in our video down in the comments section. We'll answer the question for you and also for everybody else that might have had the same question at the same time. But if you need some one-on-one -on -one service, whether it be a specific question that you just don't want to ask, or you have a question to ask our shop, Feel free to contact us by phone or email, and we'll be happy to help you out. So we just want to remind you that once again, this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.